कि जनाब ये मिस कंडक्ट के मुरतकब थे इसके बारे में आपको क्या कहना जी जी मैं ये कहता हूँ उन्होंने एक शोकॉज नोटिस दिया इकतीस सात दो हजार अठारह उसके जवाब में एक मैंने सबमिशन की क्योंकि चौदह दिन दिए गए थे मैंने कहा मैंने फैक्ट सारे डॉक्यूमेंट्स कलेक्ट करने हैं और मैं एडिट रिप्लाई दूंगा फिर मैंने एडिट रिप्लाई दी ये दो रिप्लाईज मैंने दी है एक एप्लीकेशन मैंने और दी उसमें जो रिकॉर्ड पर है पेज दो सौ तेईस चौबीस पे उसमें मैंने कहा कि इन द फर्स्ट प्लेस एड्रेसिंग डिस्ट्रिक्ट बार एसोसिएशन इज नॉट ए मिस कॉन्डक्ट विद इन द मीनिंग ऑफ आर्टिकल टू जीरो नाइन बट इफ दिस ऑनरेबल काउंसिल थिंक्स दैट दिस इज ए केस इन विच इट शुड आई शुड बी प्रोसीडेड अगेंस्ट प्लीज इन दैट केस गिव ए पब्लिक हेयरिंग टू अस गिव इट इज एन ओपन कोर्ट मैंने ये एप्लीकेशन दी जिसको कभी उसके बाद एक एक इन कैमरा प्रोसीडिंग्स हुई उसमें भी मैंने ये बात रिपीट की कि अगर जनाब मजीद प्रोसीड करना चाहूँ को तो प्रिलिमिनरी इंक्वायरी थी वो कोई फाइनल इंक्वायरी जो है सिटिंग नहीं थी तो मुझे आप ओपन हेयरिंग दीजिएगा ये पेज 313 के ऊपर ये मौजूद है मेरी पेज खास पेज 313 313 पर पेज पेज 313 ये वॉल्यूम टू होगा जी इसका आ, इस केस का पेपर बुक टू इसकी तारीख है उनतीस नौ दो पेज पेज क्या बताया था आपने ये मैं ही कहा दी एप्लीकेंट पेज आप दोबारा थ्री वन थ्री सर थ्री वन एक थ्री वन थ्री एप्लीकेशन फॉर ओपन हेयरिंग गारंटीड अंडर द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ द इस्लामिक रिपब्लिक ऑफ पाकिस्तान ये इसकी आप इस्तेदा कौन से पेज पे इस पे फैसला क्या हुआ इट इज देर फॉर प्रे इस पे क्या फैसला हुआ जी डिसाइड क्या हुआ डिसीजन नहीं उसे नहीं हुई आई वॉज नेवर गिवन एनी हेयरिंग इसके बाद दी वन हेयरिंग वॉज इन कैमरा इसमें इशू तो ये है कि जहाँ तक तकरीर की बात है आप तकरीर डिनाई नहीं कर रहे हैं मालूम सिर्फ ये करना है कि ये मिसकॉन्डक्ट में आता है या नहीं नंबर वन इसका दूसरा एस्पेक्ट जो है जो कि बार बार मैं इंसिस्ट कर रहा हूँ वो ज्यादा इम्पोर्टेंट है कि वो जो एलिगेशन थी उसको मालूम करना चाहिए था दुरुस्त थी या नहीं थी तो क्या सुप्रीम जुडिशल काउंसिल वो तहकीकत कर सकती है सपोज अगर आज 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 हम रिमांड भी करते हैं तो क्या वो तहकीकत वहाँ हो सकती है या इसको कहीं और होना है हाँ बिल्कुल इसमें इंक्वायरी होनी चाहिए थी बल्कि पहला कौन, करे, कौन करेगा इंक्वायरी सुप्रीम जुडिशल काउंसिल को करनी थी ना नहीं वो दूसरे एलिगेशन की जो इन्होंने एलिगेशन लगाई उसके बारे में क्या कहते हैं तो एलिगेशन ये जो कह रहे हैं जो कोर्ट्स पे जो बाकी रिस्पॉन्डेंट्स पे जो एलिगेशन लगी है क्या सुप्रीम जुडिशियल काउंसिल उस हद तक तहकीकत कर सकती है बिल्कुल बिल्कुल कर सकती थी और बल्कि मैंने ओपन हेयरिंग के लिए कहा था कि आप हमें ओपन हेयरिंग दें देखिए शायद मैं शायद मैं क्लियर नहीं कर रहा हूँ आप पे ये एलिगेशन तो नहीं है कि आप सही कह रहे हैं या गलत कह रहे हैं आप एलिगेशन ये कि आपने जुडिशरी को मिलाइन किया जो कि मिस कॉन्टेक्ट में आता है ठीक वो तो आप मान रहे कि तकरीर की सिर्फ ये देखना कि आपकी तकरीर जमरे में आती या नहीं लेकिन जो एलिगेशन है उसकी तरफ तो किसी ने तो वो नहीं देखिए वो एलिगेशन किस हद तक दुरुस्त है किस हद तक गलत है उसकी गलत है तो ही शुड फेस दिक्कत और अगर दुरुस्त है तो रिस्पॉन्सिबल लेकिन सवाल ये कि कौन करेगा लेकिन उन्होंने इंक्वायरी करनी थी ना इसमें पहले तो मुझे स्टेटमेंट ऑफ एलिगेशन देना था कि ये एलिगेशन है इनका इसको आप नहीं नहीं कोई स्टेटमेंट ऑफ एलिगेशन कुछ नहीं किया गया सो so, गुजारिश मेरी ये सुप्रीम जुडिशियल काउंसिल वही पावरफुल बॉडी आप जरा दो सौ दस भी पढ़ लें आइन का ये बिल्कुल सही है कि जरा देखिए इसकी जरा मैंने अभी इसके जरा अल्फाज का चुनाव जरा देखिए और फोर्स अटेंडेंस ऑफ पर्सन यस नहीं नहीं टेक्स्ट पढ़िए ना फॉर दी पर्पज ऑफ इंक्वायरिंग इन टू एनी मैटर एनी मैटर एनी मैटर नॉट फॉर टेनिंग टू इट डजेंट कनेक्ट विद द कंडक्ट ऑफ द जज अभी आई वाइडेंड ऑफ द स्कोप जरा पढ़े आगे 
आपने जो इंक्वायरी कमीशन की बात की तो ये खुद इंक्वायरी कमीशन है इन वे बिल्कुल पावरफुल इंक्वायरी कंटेम्प्ट के पास भी इनके पास है बिल्कुल सही है मैं इसीलिए कह रहा हूँ खान साहब माई लेट मी put my anxiety to you every supreme judicial council is not the supreme court it's a separate constitutional body agreed every constitutional body should have maximum autonomy to decide matters agreed thirdly we don't want to encroach or say or do anything it just so happens that i am a member of the supreme judicial council as well but we create precedent as well that it undermines the supreme judicial council supreme court is not a watch dog over however like every other constitutional body when a constitutional provision or a fundamental right is being violated by anybody or not being considered let's both ways then the supreme court would is only court which has the power or the high court in not in this case to direct that this be done yes uh, i mean uh, so we have to be very careful how we proceed in this matter because it will like you are citing justice clark's case after 50 years <laughs> this will become precedent and it will be cited before us maybe earlier than 50 years so we have to be very careful as to not Does disturb that, the perfect balance that the constitution makers have provided in the constitution sir, there is a intervening judgment 2018 ki usme ye sare aspects bahut acche discuss hue hain aur usme ye aaya uski haisiyat kya hai ye bhi discuss hui hai meri guzarish hai us judgment ko zara pld pld 2018 supreme court 538 I was counseling that case again. Chowdhury Siddiqui's case. Uh, this is Iftikhar Chowdhury's case. This is PLD 2018. Yes. Uh, uh, अच्छा एक और एक और जो आपका matter अच्छा नहीं नहीं ये नहीं कर ये तो आप ही का केस है ना जी जी वही इसमें ये एस्पेक्ट प्रोसीजर एस्पेक्ट्स बड़े डिटेल में डिस्कस हुए हैं विच वन यू विच पार्ट यू वांट टू रीड फ्रॉम जी जी अब मैं आपको वो जो है ना नोट्स दूसरे वाले नोट्स में बात so this judgment is very thorough judgment discussing various aspects of article 209 pehla jo point out karunga wo page 555 hai para 46 ji historically of para 46 page 555 historically the fundamental rights of the people require protection from the excess of the executive and the vested interest both commercial and political in order to safeguard the fundamental rights of the people guaranteed under the constitution the independence of judiciary obviously must be insulated from the onslaught of the executive 
and such vested interests who are past masters at institutional capture. <coughs> Thus, the security of tenure of judges, more so those of the superior courts, is imperative and therefore adequate safeguards in this behalf are provided, including by enacting what appears to be a rather cumbersome and strict process of their removal. This cardinal principle is reflected in the constitutional dispensation of all the democratic countries, uh, people by the citizens and not subjects. The exception in this behalf are almost always I found mean, in... I find that you don't need to say this, it's obvious. <laughs> जो एक बहुत इम्पोर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट है वो जनाब देखिए पेज 559 ये जरा पैरा 51 ये जरा जरूर देखिए पेज पेज 559 पैरा 20 559 9 पेज पैरा सॉरी 51 दी दी रेलेवेंट प्रोविजंस ऑफ़ दी कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन more particularly articles 209, 210 and 211 when examined in the light of the judgment handed down by a larger bench of this court in the case reported as Chief Justice of Pakistan Sakhar Umar Chaudhary and the previous pronouncements on the subject noted and quoted with approval in the aforesaid judgment the relevant portions whereof have been reproduced in extenso here and above should reveal that firstly the SJC is a unique forum created by the Constitution. Secondly, the SJC is not a court, though it may exhibit some of its trappings, including the power to punish for contempt. So it is not a court. Yes, uh, yes 2010 ki judgment be. Thirdly, the proceedings before SJC are essentially a fact-finding inquiry, sir. This is what I am submitting here. This is the function of the SJC. Fourthly, the SJC is akin to a domestic forum and it conducts administrative proceedings regarding the question of conduct or capacity of a judge who is to be judged by his own peers. Fifthly, the finding of SJC are recommendatory in nature and do not Ito, enjoy the status. So, yes, agreed. What is the point you want to make? I'm trying to make here this is a domestic forum. Your worship was saying that is just like as if it is some kind of a rival court to Supreme Court. No, it is a domestic. No, no it is not. We, we it's a constitutional body. It's a constitutional body. So, what but, happened in this case? Why did you come to court? What relief did you get or not get? This primary function जो है वो inquiry है. नहीं नहीं ये फैसला जो आप cite कर रहे हैं कि ये क्यों आया आपका case Supreme Court में? Open inquiry. Open okay, case. Why you apply Supreme Court? This one. This is why we have said that in this case, that our open inquiry should be held. Supreme Court has made a decision. Supreme Judicial Council has said no. It should be in form. In this case, then you can't agitate these agreements again in front of us. No, no. What happened? They have allowed the open inquiry. This judgment allowed open inquiry. Subject to certain conditions. They were paragraph killer. They were other people. It's a very historic judgment in that case. Me, I'm not saying they are not allowed. Huh? Sub S J C will not allow. S J C. What file? This is a back page error. Supreme Judicial Council. Five double seven para ninety six. It was a consequently the question regarding the conduct of proceedings. नहीं तो ये तो वो रिमांड हो गया ना ये ये केस रिमांड का केस है नहीं इसमें उन्होंने कहा कि नो 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 आमिर खान साहब आमिर खान साहब सब्जेक्ट तू सब्जेक्ट हम जो इतनी देर से आपसे सवाल पूछ रहे हैं ये पैराग्राफ 96 जो माय लॉर्ड ने पॉइंट आउट किया था पढ़िए नहीं नहीं वो ठीक है उसे आप पढ़िए तो सर बात ये है नहीं आप पढ़े पहले पढ़े तो ना 577 पे consequently the question regarding conduct of proceedings through an open justice as requested by needs to be revisited and decided afresh by SCG not standing uninfluenced by its order dated so and so जो जो order set aside उन्होंने किया आप पढ़े ना in the light of the observations made here and above in the light of the observations तो this is observations क्या हैं a a सेकेंड जी सरत हमारी बात सुन लेना अभी हम आपसे बार बार पूछ रहे थे रिमांड तो ये रिमांड ही तो किया है पिछले सवालों का जवाब है तो ये पहले सवाल का जवाब इधर मिल रहा है मैंने मैंने भी तो रिमांड ही मांगा है नहीं अगर आप ने बताया ही नहीं कि आपके आप कोई और वजह से बता रहे हैं जजमेंट का मैं मैं ये कह रहा था कि
इस ऑर्डर के बाद उन्होंने अलाउ की थी इन दैट पर्टिकुलर केस अलाउड ओपन हेयरिंग वो ऑर्डर कहा है वो कोई दूसरा रेफरेंस था क्या? जी वो दूसरा वो दूसरा रेफरेंस टू वो रेफरेंस टू फोर्टी टू है अच्छा ये केस नहीं जो इस केस में जो इस केस में इम्प्यून था वो रेफरेंस टू फोर्टी टू लेकिन इस इस रेफरेंस की तो बेसिस जो है वो तकरीर है और उस तकरीर को आप डिनाई नहीं कर रहे उसके कंटेंट्स को ठीक है पर देन देट ह तो मेरा गुजारिश ये करनी थी जो जनाब के ऑब्जर्वेशन थी दैट रेफरेंस वाज डिसमिस्ड व्हाट हैपेंड दैट दैट वाज नेवर डिसाइडेड यू वांट दैट ये प्रोसीडिंग स्टेक ऑफ यू वांट दैट दैट बी आल्सो बी डिसाइडेड आप चाहते हैं कि उसको भी डिसाइड करें नहीं सर बिल्कुल नहीं इसकी बात नहीं मैं तो आपके सामने आपका प्रेसिडेंट दिखा रहा हूं कि प्रेसिडेंट ये है फिर उसमें इंक्वायरी के तरीका कार इसमें बड़ा अच्छा तरह डिस्कस हुआ है वो भी जरा देख लीजिएगा उसमें उन्होंने कहा कि ये जो इंक्वायरी होगी सुबह जुडिशल काउंसिल की उनके ये ये पैरामीटर्स होंगे मैं उसकी तरफ जो आपकी तोजो दिला रहा था वो तो आखिरी में उन्होंने कहा कि जी ठीक है रिमांड कर रहे हैं आप इस जजमेंट की लाइट में आप डिसाइड करें इस वर परफेक्टली ऑल राइट वो एक पहला था मैं कहा था इंक्वायरी में ये ये कुछ होना चाहिए खत्म जी सर सो मेरी गुजारिश ये है कि दी ऑल दी जजमेंट सो फार से जज कैन नॉट बी रिमूव ऑन दी बेसिस ऑफ ए रिपोर्ट विच इज नॉट बेस्ड ऑन इंक्वायरी एंड दिस इज अ केस विदाउट इंक्वायरी दुप्रीम जुडिशल काउंसिल हैज सबमिटेड अ रिपोर्ट इन विच दे हैव रिकमेंडेड द रिमूवल ऑफ द जज एंड दे फोर दैट इज क्लियरली एन अनकॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल वर्ड नॉन एस ऑर्डर About you know, what your lordship was uh, uh, saying, us ke baare mein meri guzari shiye hai ke proceedings mein chokas notice hua ek uske do dafa pehla preliminary uh, reply, phir added reply ye hua. उसके बाद एक एप्लीकेशन मैंने दी जिसमें मैंने कहा कि अगर अबुल तो ये एड्रेसिंग सुप्रीम एड्रेसिंग ए बार एसोसिएशन इज नॉट ए मिसकॉन्डक्ट बट इन केस यू वांट टू होल्ड इंक्वायरी प्लीज होल्ड इट इन ओपन कोर्ट वो जजमेंट वो भी मैंने दिखा दिया उसके बाद उससे दो दिन बाद जब हेयरिंग हुई उसमें ये सारे सवाल आए और उसमें हमसे ये पूछा गया कि हाँ इंक्वायरी है हमने बिल्कुल ये की है ठीक है नहीं नहीं एक सेकेंड सो देर वर टू रेफरेंसेस एक में अलाउ हो गई आपका ओपन और दूसरे में नहीं अलाउ हुई नहीं दूसरे में तो आपने कहा था आपने दरखास्त दी थी ना ओपन के लिए सर वो तो ओपन इंक्वायरी का तो प्रेसिडेंट बन चुका था ओपन इंक्वायरी का तो प्रेसिडेंट हो चुका था नहीं, नहीं, अभी आपने कुछ देर पहले कहा कि उसमें इंक्वायरी ओपन नहीं हुई थी मैंने रिक्वेस्ट की थी उसमें नहीं हुई तो एक में किया और एक में नहीं किया इसमें नहीं किया और फर्क क्या है दोनों में फर्क ये है कि आफ्टर इसमें तो इंक्वायरी सरे से नहीं हुई ना उसमें नहीं नहीं मैं अब इंक्वायरी की बात नहीं कर रहा हूँ मैं अब कह रहा हूँ प्रोसीडिंग के वो प्रोसीडिंग्स ओपन करें जी वो इन कैमरा ना करें एक में तो आपकी दरखास्त अलाउ हो गई जी जी आप कह रहे हैं बिल्कुल वो है रेफरेंस नंबर 242 में 242 मगर इस केस में इसका रेफरेंस नंबर क्या था मौजूदा रेफरेंस हाँ इसमें आपने कहा नहीं हुई इसमें इसमें तो इंक्वायरी नहीं हुई सर क्या इंक्वायरी से सेपरेट थिंग ओपन प्रोसीडिंग्स की बात कर रहा हूँ ओपन प्रोसीडिंग्स देखो प्रोसीडिंग्स इंक्वायरी की होनी थी ना इसमें सरे से इंक्वायरी नहीं हुई नहीं वो एक अलग पॉइंट है प्रोसीडिंग्स ओपन हुई या नहीं हुई एप्लीकेशन पे कोई ऑर्डर ही ऑर्डर नहीं हुई इसका नंबर क्या है रेफरेंस का ये वाली मौजूदा का थ्री फोर सेवन जितने समझ गया समझ गया ओपन नहीं हुई वे फॉरवर्ड एड्रेस दैट पॉइंट ओनली
my submission is that the report and the notification is to be set aside on the ground of being malefied in law. Please, and please tell us the way forward. Yes, sir. Uh, my submission is that it cannot be remanded to the SJC. The SJC scope is limited under Article 209. However, this court, if it considers fit, and I would urge that it should. Who do you represent? Who do you represent? Who do you represent? Eight second, Terry. Who do you represent? My Lord, the Bar Association, Karachi Bar Association, and the you. So you basically you don't want the truth to come out. No, 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 sir. Yes, I, yes. In fact, my petition. No, you are saying. No, you are saying. You are saying. Please hear us. You are saying that the mat relief should be given to the petitioner, but the people of Pakistan should be kept in the dark because they can't handle the they can't handle the truth. So, so why can't it be remanded? Why are you saying it can't be remanded? No, not at all, sir. I'm not saying that it should not be investigated. My submission is that the proper forum would either be this court itself or a commission appointed. We are, we are not seeking your opinion. We are seeking some legal response. In yes. my opinion, <laughs> that doesn't help us, does it? Why can't it be remanded? It is, it is because of the language of 209 itself, sir. Where does it say, suggest that? In fact, Mr. Hamid Khan has just cited a uh, case where it was remanded, the matter was remanded. I am not arguing. It cannot be reminded. It cannot be reminded. If Mr. Shafiq Sibuki was still in. Now. We can't. Voice is gone. 48. Need to ask a question. I'm not worrying enough. Okay, well. So, the council to recommend this review. Therefore, it does not have then the jurisdiction under 2096. And so the remand right now cannot be done. It could have been done two years ago. But right now the remedy is that and certainly those investigators allegations need so to you mean to say you, 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 you mean to say on account there is a well settled principle that no one should suffer as a consequence of act of court. So you're saying because the court delayed the matter for two years, the petitioner's valuable right has been taken away from him. Is that your argument? And if the uh, we, I, I, we can't hear you. You are not speaking clearly. Karina, take it. That uh, uh, the civil servant's actual tenure has been made. Civil servant, you have made a judge. Bana diya. No, hey, sir, please don't. Uh, Disciplinary proceedings can't principle the whole year, sir. No, it's but not. It's not. Please, please no, don't do this. If you're reducing a constitutional office to the, to the level of a bureaucratic thing and saying the same principle applies, with respect, I will not agree with you. My, my submission is that the stigma around a person's reputation caused by wrongful removing, that is something that he is entitled to remove. Even if he has finished his uh, age of service, it is the same principle which your lordships entertain appeals against convictions. Even when Mr. Uh, Salauddin, is, please, Mr. Salauddin, please focus on the constitution. With the, where Mr. Ahmed Khan has read 2095, which says inquiry, then 2096, which talks about inquiry, and you are saying there's no need for an inquiry because he's retired, he's at age of 62, so even if SJC did not comply with the constitution, so let him suffer. I am saying this court is to set aside the report of the um, Supreme Judicial Council and the President's notification on account of being without jurisdiction and then, we are asking you can it be remanded or not. We are not asking you can it be set aside. 
Malone writes a mission is the reason the factual allegations cannot be investigated anymore by the Supreme Judicial Council is because. So we should. Uh, we should. And are you saying that we should take? We should take over the functions of the Supreme Judicial Council. That's the only solution. Then there's no other way. Either they do it or we do it. The Supreme Judicial Council has a specific role when it comes to this. I mean, Mr. Srauti, you're not providing us any solution. You are saying the Supreme Court should assume the functions of the Supreme Judicial Council. Yes, sir. The Supreme Judicial Council will end if a judge, for whatever reason, is no longer there. Then why don't why are you saying for whatever reason we are dealing with a real case? Yes, sir. He has crossed the age of superannuation. So he should suffer. So right he should. He should suffer. He should suffer because of that. No, I'm not saying he should suffer. I don't know. I'm saying. <laughs> I'm saying the order can be set aside without without without, without, without without conducting inquiry. We should set aside the order. Why? The order should be set aside without without inquiry. Without inquiry. No, without that inquiry. Irrespective of the merits of the case, the order is without jurisdiction. Therefore, it deserves to be set aside. It is without jurisdiction for two reasons. The first reason is sir, that the inquiry was not initiated. If you are, if you are, if you are, if you are arguing in this manner, what uh, what provision of law have you filed your petition under? What's the first word in that? Then you don't have a case that we should dismiss your petition on that ground alone, because you are arguing against your own petition now. You are saying the you are now claiming the right of an individual and not the public's right. Please read 184.3. It starts with the word public importance. So you are now pleading the case of the petitioner, not the public's. You're not saying pub you exactly what is what you think. You say public should not know the truth of the matter. Please, uh, please give him his pension, and that's it. So we have two aspects of public. Ah, but so lena one eighty four three. One eighty four three. Pay na ji. So the first aspect of public importance is that whether the SJC has the legal right to remove judges without a factual inquiry. That is a question of public importance. The second question of public importance here, which is separate, is whether the allegations of Mr. Shafiq Siddiqui were correct or not. That has to be investigated separately. My only submission is that the SJC no longer can do so. The reason I am saying well, this is, sir, uh, no, no, but you, you don't. When you say a statement, back it up. That has to be investigated separately. I'm quoting your words. How? That's the only question we are asking you. Your lordships, in one eighty four three, your lordships can. Well, yeah, I'm just quoting. Uh, I'm quoting your words. Who will investigate? We. See, tell us. Truth of the allegations can be determined by this court. So we record evidence. We will record evidence. We will record evidence. It is. There is no bar to it, sir. But if your lordships feel that that. Yeah, feel की बात तो नहीं हो रही है. You are assisting the court. We don't go on feelings. Assist the court on the constitutional point, not on our feelings. My lord, there is no bar under one eighty four three to recording of evidence. Okay. It is done even in constitutional petitions under Article one ninety nine. ये तो आप हमें वे फॉरवर्ड हम बार बार पूछ रहे हैं ना वे फॉरवर्ड बताएं वो सारी शेयर है कि इट मे बी रिफर्ड टू अ कंडीशन सर आप इफ यू कैन स्पीक स्लोली इफ यू कैन स्पीक स्लोली वी कांट हियर योर वर्ड माइक माइक से थोड़ा पीछे हो जाए माइक से थोड़ा पीछे हो जाए जी सर आई माय सबमिशन इज दैट इट मे बी रिफर्ड टू अ कमीशन दैट इंक्वायरर इंक्वायरस इनटू द फैक्चुअल ट्रूथ और अदरवाइज ऑफ हिज एलिगेशंस बिकॉज़ आई कंप्लीटली एग्री दैट द एलिगेशंस ऑफ सच अ नेचर दैट द पब्लिक हैज अ राइट टू नो व्हेदर दे आर ट्रू और नॉट व्हेयर 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 इज द सुप्रीम कोर्ट ऑफ दिस पावर टू अपॉइंट अ कमीशन My Lord, the power is 184.3, and no, no, don't just say these things. Now read the language. Where does it say Supreme Court can appoint a commission? 
without prejudice to the provisions of Article 199, the Supreme Court shall, if it considers that a question of public importance with reference to the enforcement of any of the fundamental rights conferred by Chapter 1 of Part 2 is involved, have the power to make an order of the nature mentioned in the said article. Now, okay. no, please, no, no, please stop. Go to 199 and say yes. that the High Court can uh, constitute a commission. If they can, we can. My Lord, I mean, unless you want us to start writing into words into the Constitution, you can't just say, just throw in something and say, commission should be instituted. Commission, the only commission that I'm aware of is Commission of uh, whatever Inquiry Act of 2017. Yes, uh, sir. Which the federal government constitutes. So where yes. is the power of the Supreme Court to constitute a commission? My Lord, the mandamus would issue to the federal government. Now you are going somewhere else. So in your prayer, there are no such things. What do you say about 210? Article 210. Is that correct? For the purpose of inquiring into any matter, the council shall have the same power as the Supreme Court has to issue directions or orders for securing the attendance of any person or the discovery or production of any document and any such direction shall be impossible as if it had been issued by the Supreme Court. What, what do you say about when the in presence of such a vast power, why you are reluctant to demand the matter to the Supreme Judicial Council? Sir, my opinion is that with 205 and 206. If on information from any source, the council or the president is of the opinion that a judge of the Supreme Court or a high court may be incapable of properly performing the duties of his office by reason of physical or mental incapacity, may or may have been guilty of misconduct, the president shall direct the council to or the council may, on its own motion, inquire into the matter. That's a very, so point, we've been, that's a very point we've been saying, inquire. Admittedly, SJC did not do that. And this, I, I'm not following you at all. You're not citing yeah. any precedent or... You are just saying, in my opinion, feelings. I mean, let's go on the constitution. What does it say? My my lord, the constitution says that the SJC can inquire into the conduct okay, That's the whole point. They did not inquire. That's a case. Amit yes, Khan's sir. case is... Yes, sir. So, if, I, if I may explain, no. sir. If no, I may explain. I, it's not an explanation. It's a fact. Either they did or they didn't. They did not inquire. This is admitted fact. Sir, if, if the SJC report and the president notification is set aside, does Mr. Shokat Siddiqui automatically become a judge of the High Court? No, he does not. And because he does not become a High Court judge, then the SJC cannot inquire. At least, he, at least he will get the status of ex-judge ex of the High Court. Former Sorry? judge. He will get yes. the status of ex-judge of the High Court. Exactly. And there is nothing in 2095 that, acquire, uh, that allows the SJC to inquire into the conduct of an ex-judge. Then if your lordship sees 2096, that should be that time, that time, There is a settled principle of law. When a list comes before a court, it has to be decided at what was there at that time. Not aaj law ye ho gaya. Suppose a crime is created today. We will not decide it as today. We will decide it when the law was at that particular time. It's well settled principle. Unless specific retrospectivity is given to something. So merely saying these things, we can simply avoid what you are saying, that the list before the uh, SJC, we are considering matters, we are going back, traveling back in time. Whether time has moved forward or not, whether he's attained the age of 65, 62, are all subsequent events, coincidental events, which one view is they are very material, that the minute his, the uh, watch goes forward, 62 is struck, out of court. I gave an example, you were not listening, maybe that if the, if the, before he could file a petition, he, the next day he retired. So he has no remedy then. You can say, yes, he has no remedy. Let's at least be 
on the same line. I mean, then I can appreciate it if you use the same logic. But you, you're simply saying because he's retired, that's it. So then, then he's condemned. You can drag on a proceeding. You can curtail a proceeding. Well, that is the opposite of what I am saying. I am saying that if a person retires... But we are not talking about if a person, we are talking about a judge. We are not a, this is not a bureaucrat, a bureaucrat here before us. Let's use the word judge. Right. If a judge retires and your lordship comes to the conclusion that the SJC order was without jurisdiction. We are not then saying that. No, we, we, no, 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 no. We are not saying that at all. You have not been following. We are simply focusing on one point and one point alone. No inquiry was there. Without jurisdiction, we are certainly not saying, yes, Supreme Court had jurisdiction. My humble submission is that factual uh, the lack of the lack of a factual uh, of a, a, fa a factual inquiry renders those proceedings foreign non judice and without jurisdiction. If there are factual aspects that have to be looked at into, and the domestic forum or the SJC doesn't look into it, then that renders the, the decision of that forum without jurisdiction and malefide in law. It is Wait, this, this, this you are arguing on the basis of a normal petitioner, then why should we entertain your 184.3 petition? Where is the element of public interest? We, we will concern ourselves with the petitioner, the judge before us. You have got no concern with the matter then. If this is your argument, if you merely want him whatever uh, that the order set aside, how does it benefit or not? Or how does it for independence of judiciary, transparency, right of information of the public, then you've removed the entire public importance aspect of the case from your case, then you are, then we should not hear you, we should dismiss your petition, we should just hear Mr. Amit Khan. If you are taking away, the, you you are removing all the public element from it. If the public element is removed, then how are you invoking the 184.3 jurisdiction? The same question, he is, Mr. Khan has also come before us in 184.3. On the thing, it's not just me is independent of the judiciary. I mean, has the independence of the judiciary been restored because now he'll be entitled to pensionary rights? Is the truth not important anymore? My lord, it is certainly important as I have said. But forum is different. But what I am saying is the public importance is there. Because if the Supreme Judicial Council removes a judge of a superior court without holding a factual inquiry, then your lordship has to declare that you are repeating yourself. I don't think you are going forward. the Supreme Judicial Council procedure of inquiry 2005 is ka section 8 subsection 7 ji sir bol raha padhe aap without prejudice to the foregoing the council shall have inherent powers to adopt any procedure specific to the inquiry which is considered by council to be just and proper in the circumstances और yes. उसके बाद मैं आपसे कहूंगा जरा पेज नंबर 48 पे इंप्यूंड ऑर्डर जो है इसका पैराग्राफ नंबर 15 पढ़ लीजिए जरा आप पेज नंबर ये हामिद खान साहब की जो पेपर बुक है इसका पेज नंबर 48 और पैराग्राफ नंबर 15 जी सर ये पढ़िए जरा आफ्टर हियरिंग द लर्नड अटॉर्नी जनरल जी आफ्टर हियरिंग द लर्नड अटॉर्नी जनरल फॉर पाकिस्तान एंड जस्टिस सिद्दीकी एट हिज लर्नड काउंसिल एंड हिज लर्नड काउंसिल एट बेथलेन द मैटर वाज एडजर्न्ड बाय द काउंसिल टू 8 10 2018 फॉर डिलिबरेटिंग अपॉन द रिस्पेक्टिव सबमिशंस एंड टू डिटरमिन द वे फॉरवर्ड कीपिंग इन व्यू द पीक्यूलियर सरकमस्टांसेस ऑफ द मैटर एट हैंड द काउंसिल मेट अगेन ऑन 8 10 20 2018 and the entire matter was deliberated upon from diverse angles. It was pertinently observed by the Council that Article 2095 of the Constitution of the Islamic Republic of Pakistan authorizes the Supreme Judicial Council to inquire into conduct of a judge of the Supreme Court of Pakistan or of a High Court upon a direction of the President of Pakistan. 
Pakistan or on basis of an information received from any source or in, on its own motion and Supreme Judicial Council Procedure of Inquiry 2005 I think if your Lordship um, if I may skip a few uh, and go to the about 10th last line of the next page Ji, aap tenth la, last line thwot, thwot la, line se he was he, it was he, inka judgment ka reference diya gaya jo Amit sahab, Amit Khan sahab ne jo refer kiya hai judgment ka reference diya hai isme ye padhe aap isi continue kare isko aap ji sir ji in the case of justice shaukat aziz siddiqui and in the case of justice shaukat aziz siddiqui the supreme judicial council procedure of inquiry was held by the supreme court of Pakistan. APRD 2018 supreme court 538 iska reference hai ji continue kare ji to be constitutionally valid and compliant with university accepted principles of due process. In the present matter, initial scrutiny of information was conducted in terms of paragraph 7 of the said procedure of inquiry. <laughs> A discussion and inquiry into the information was undertaken in terms of para 8 of the procedure of inquiry. A decision was taken to proceed against Justice Siddiqui and a show cause notice was issued to him along with the supporting material calling upon him to explain his conduct. And after receipt of his two replies, the council had met and they decided to proceed further with the matter in terms of para 9 of the procedure of inquiry. And then after the Attorney General for Pakistan was required to conduct the proceeding in terms of para 10 of the procedure of inquiry. After that stage of the proceeding, the said procedure of inquiry remains silent regarding the procedure to be adopted or followed in a given inquiry. And the council is extended the necessary discretion to adopt any procedure which may be found by it to suit the requirements of the inquiry. Such discretion of the council is manifestly explicit from the contents of para 8, 7 of the procedure of inquiry, according to which, without prejudice to the foregoing, the council shall have inherent powers to adopt any procedure specific to the inquiry which is considered by the council to be just and proper in the circumstances. As the proceeding against Justice Siddiqui were based squarely upon the making of the above mentioned speech by him and the multiple and pervasive allegations leveled by him there. <laughs> कि इनके हद तक सेटिसाइड कर दें इनका स्टेटस बहाल हो जाएगा और दूसरे पोर्शन में जो इंक्वायरी आप कहते हैं वो अलग से कंडक्ट हो सपोज हम आपकी बात मान लें इंक्वायरी कंडक्ट होती है उस इंक्वायरी में ये हम काम ही करते हैं और ये साबित होता है कि इनके एलिगेशन गलत थी फिर क्या होगा इनका स्टेटस वापस लिया जाएगा कौन लेगा सर इसमें फिर ये होगा कि there would be three, it would be go then before the relevant criminal court perhaps. Because there would be a question of perjury, there would be a question of the ex, criminal... The ex judge of the High Court will face the criminal charge without the intervention of the Supreme Judicial Council. My Lord, judges are not above the law. No, no, the Supreme Judicial Council, <laughs> they have to face the consequences through the Supreme Judicial Council. My Lord, with respect, if someone commits a the act of criminal defamation so, yeah, yeah, no we don't want we don't want we don't we don't want these analogies which are not applicable to supreme judicial council or to judges let's stay focused on the supreme judicial council on judges and the constitution we don't need any analogies if you can throw any further light please continue no my lord, I'm not making an analogy with respect because the aap, please, aap hume, aap, let it go. If you want to continue, we don't we don't want these analogies. My lord, this is what is the statement. If the statements are false, then it's not a matter of analogy, then there are consequences for false statements on both sides. I don't think if, if, he, if if I was to deconstruct what you are saying. First of all, it's a never-ending thing ever. Let's take logically what you're saying, as what my Lord had put to you, that if the petitioners alleg this order is set aside on the basis that no inquiry was held, and subsequently a commission, okay, it's magically formed, we go along with that, and the commission, where is the commission? It's not a court of law, it's not a constitutional body, it's a sub-statute body naturally or a 
order or a body created by an order of a court. It can either be one or the other, not a third one. That finding will prevail over the Supreme Judicial Council, will prevail over the Supreme Court. And on the basis of what this inquiry is held, either pursuant to order of the court or the Supreme Judicial Council, a judge can go to jail for perjury. This, this is the sum total of the argument. I, I, do, I don't follow this. Let me, let me explain myself, sir. It will not, obviously, the commission, the report of the commission too, does not automatically affect... Hey, first tell us who creates this commission. You know, it is, it is formed under the Commission of Inquiry Act. And if your Lordship sees in the so Act... Is a commission of inquiry or a thing determine something uh, f f uh, that this judge had not stated the truth earlier. He will be persecuted for perjury. My Lord, it prepares a report. That report is then forwarded to the relevant body. We are a the 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 vagueness, relevant body. We are in the, we are a high score. We not want to know what is this. Body. Be, Each word you must. Criminal, uh, criminal investigation agency, sir. It it be, be, <laughs> so we are then handing over the fate of judges to some SHO or uh, sub inspector in police. If, if a judge makes a false allegation, he defames someone, commits libel, and it is found to be false, then he should not expect to. So these are, uh, so are not quite getting traction with me at least. If you want to file, refer to, you are, as, you are not, sorry, but you are not referring to any precedent, any law, any, I mean, these are just opinions stated at the bar. कुछ और हमें बताए ना कुछ चीज तो बताए ना कुछ आगे बढ़ने वाली बात मैं अगर अगर आप इजाजत दें तो मैं थोड़ा सा ये जो पैसेज आप ऐसा करें आप अपना राइटिंग में सबमिशंस कर दें बिकॉज़ हमें समझ नहीं आ रही बात एंड वी जस्ट वी आर मे बी यू हैव गॉट बेटर आइडियाज यू कैन पुट देम इन राइटिंग एंड वी विल कंसीडर देम May, may I just summarize the... No, please uh, do so, please do so in writing because you will carefully think out everything and I'm sure it will be, because if it's also 10 minutes to 2 up, we will certainly we will certainly consider it. Huh? जरा आर्टिकल 2095 मैं पढ़ना चाहता हूं ये कह रहा है कि इफ ऑन इंफॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम एनी सोर्स द काउंसिल और द प्रेसिडेंट इज ऑफ द ओपिनियन दैट ए जज ऑफ द सुप्रीम कोर्ट और ऑफ ए हाई कोर्ट मे बी इनकेपेबल ऑफ प्रॉपरली परफॉर्मिंग द ड्यूटीज ऑफ हिज ऑफिस बाय रीजन ऑफ फिजिकल और मेंटल इनकेपेसिटी और मे हैव बीन गिल्टी ऑफ मिसकंडक्ट यानी कि 2095 का ए या बी दोनों में से कोई एक भी अगर अप्लाई करेगा तो 209 अप्लाई कर जाएगा यानी कि लफ्ज इन्होंने और 